Throughout the history of humanity, conflicts have been a constant presence. Despite the horrors of war, it is intriguing how it can unveil astonishing remnants, discoveries, and narratives. So, we are about to embark on a journey through some of the most remarkable and surprising military discoveries, ranging from abandoned and devastating weaponry to haunting underwater resting places. Brace yourself for an exploration of these captivating finds that emerge from the midst of battle. FM2 Wildcat Lakes can sometimes serve as intriguing sites for discovering old military aircraft. One such discovery was made in Lake Michigan, USA, where an abandoned FM2 Wildcat aircraft had remained submerged for over 70 years due to a failed wartime mission. While the United States mainland was never directly impacted by the war, the circumstances surrounding how the plane ended up underwater may pique your curiosity. During a training mission in December 1944, the aircraft was intended to land on the aircraft carrier in Wacogan Harbor, but missed its target and plunged into the lake instead. Ensign William Forbes, the pilot of the plane who survived the crash, refuted any responsibility and attributed the incident to engine failure during approach. In December 2012, Chuck Greenhill, a U.S. Army veteran and aviation enthusiast, took charge of the recovery operation and set out to fully restore the plane to its original flying condition. Smith Gun Located in Great Britain, Fort Nelson House is one of the few remaining examples of a Smith Gun, a desperate anti-tank weapon created during a time of crisis. In 1941, following a devastating defeat in the Battle of France, the British feared an imminent German invasion and lacked effective defenses against enemy tanks. Retired Major William H. Smith believed he had a solution, a homemade weapon he had designed himself. Constructed from a modified barrel and 54-inch gun he crafted, capable of launching 3-inch mortar rounds, this weapon had a limited range of approximately 700 feet. It was bulky and challenging to transport, and it could only be fired when positioned on its side in the precise orientation. Despite its drawbacks, a series of Smith guns were commissioned by Winston Churchill. However, they soon acquired a reputation for injuring their operators if mishandled or carried incorrectly. By 1943, the Royal Air Force ceased using them, and in 1945, they were deemed obsolete. Unexploded Ordnance Despite the Vietnam War coming to an end in 1975, the aftermath of the conflict continues to haunt the country. A staggering estimate suggests that approximately 800,000 tons of unexploded bombs still lie beneath the surface, posing a constant threat to the safety of Vietnamese civilians. These remnants of war, referred to as unexploded ordnance, present a serious danger to people going about their everyday lives. In April 2021, local farmers of Song Nong, commune Vietnam, stumbled upon a live bomb weighing 750 pounds while working in a rice field. The bomb was identified as an M117 destructor, a type of mine equipped with a magnetic proximity fuse. This fuse is designed to activate upon detecting metallic objects like tanks and submarines. It is truly remarkable that no farm equipment inadvertently triggered the bomb during the five decades that lay dormant in the field. Bolshoi Toyotas Nestled in the Baltic Sea, Bolshoi Toyotas, an island shrouded in secrecy and danger, known as the Mind Island. It has earned this ominous nickname due to its abundance of unexploded World War II-era landmines. When the Germans were forced to retreat from the island during the war, they left behind a plethora of military equipment, which remains untouched to this day. The landscape is scattered with decaying shells of live ammunition, tanks, and large guns, bearing witness to the island's turbulent past. Initially captured and heavily fortified by the German and Finnish armies in 1941, Bolshoi Toyotas ultimately fell to the advancing Soviet army in 1944. While some of the weaponry now lies corroded and damaged, there are remnants that still appear capable of being fired with proper cleaning and maintenance. Due to the known presence of landmines, visiting the island without a permit and experienced guides remain strictly prohibited by law, underscoring the ongoing danger that lingers amidst its haunting remnants. World War II Plane Amidst the tales of World War II wreckage, here's a unique discovery of a plane that met its fate on land, far removed from civilization. This hidden relic remained unnoticed until curious tourists stumbled upon it in August 2017. The surprising find took place on Palau, a picturesque Micronesian island renowned for its tropical beauty. Concealed within the shallow riverbed, just a stone's throw away from the beach, the aircraft had quietly resided there for a staggering 75 years. 
Although the couple who made the discovery lacked expertise to identify the plane, experts later confirmed it to be a Japanese Aichi E-13A, a model utilized for long-range reconnaissance during the war. The circumstances surrounding its crash appear peculiar, as the plane rests upside down in the water, with its wings intact and minimal visible damage. Considering Palau is home to over 60 scattered wrecked planes, it becomes less surprising that this particular one remained hidden for such an extensive period. Bazooka World War II relics continue to surprise us with their unexpected appearances, even in the most unlikely places such as the basement of one's home. Jim Thomas, a resident of Wisconsin, USA, stumbled upon such a relic while cleaning out his basement in April 2016. As he noticed a false top on one of his shelves, he lifted it and was taken aback to find an old-fashioned bazooka rocket staring back at him. Being a military veteran, Jim recognized the object and felt confident in handling it safely. He decided to take it to the local police department, assuming they would handle it appropriately. However, the police, understandably concerned about having a weapon in their premises, called in a bomb disposal unit. In an abundance of caution, they evacuated a significant area around the police department to ensure public safety. Eventually, it was determined that the rocket was a training round and posed no threat. Nonetheless, the incident caused significant anxiety and tension. The origin of this World War II-era weapon in a civilian's basement remains a mystery, with speculation that it might have been kept as a souvenir by a former soldier. Tank Graveyard This abandoned tank stands quietly next to a tree in Germany, serving as a landmark for walkers and hikers who venture into the search for a secretive tank graveyard. While the exact location remains undisclosed due to its classification as an active military zone, it is widely known to be in close proximity to the German-Belgian border, and it has been devoid of military presence for a significant period. Contrary to being a battleground from World War II, these tanks were actually utilized as durable targets for artillery practice exercises, evident from the visible scars adorning the sides of these neglected vehicles. The area is scattered with various types of tanks, with the majority being M41 Walker Bulldogs or M47 Patton units. Some tanks are so extensively damaged that their identification becomes a challenging task. Mortar Unexploded wartime grenades and bombs continue to be a common occurrence in the British Isles, keeping the bomb squad busy. In September 2020, the Royal Navy Bomb Disposal Unit is called to action when a Second World War mortar was discovered on the beach of Weston Supermare. It remains unclear whether the tide had recently deposited the explosive on the beach or if it had been revealed after the years of being buried due to unusually low tides. Regardless, Authorities couldn't take any chances. A visual examination confirmed the weapon as an anti-submarine mortar bomb, potentially originating from weapons research facility in the area during the war. Most importantly, it was determined to be fully intact and possibly live, necessitating a controlled explosion for its disposal. Abandoned Salvation Camp Hero, located on the outskirts of Montauk and Long Island, New York, is an eerie abandoned military base with a haunting history. It served as an army base during World War II and later as an air force base during the Cold War. However, it was decommissioned in 1981 and is now under the ownership of the U.S. State Parks Organization. Nowadays, it is only adventurous hikers who stumble upon the unsettling exterior of this compound. At first glance, Camp Hero may appear haunted, but the reality is far more scientific. The most striking feature is the imposing radio tower that looms over the Montauk horizon. Constructed during the height of the Cold War, this antenna broadcasted signals to a network of towers along the East Coast, providing the U.S. military with a 30-minute warning in the event of a Soviet nuclear attack. However, this macabre purpose is not the only unsettling aspect of the base's history. In 1992, author and conspiracy theorist Preston Nichols published a book titled The Montauk Project, Experiments in Time, which detailed alleged incidents of child kidnapping. According to Nichols, children were purportedly taken to Camp Hero, where they endured government-conducted mind-altering experiments. These claims add an additional layer of creepiness to the already enigmatic nature of the site. Cluster Bomb In 2006, an alarming explosive device was discovered on the outskirts of Quizaye, a small village in Lebanon. The device in question is a cluster bomb, typically launched or dropped from above and designed to disperse numerous lethal bomblets upon opening in mid-air. Some types of cluster bombs have the potential to cover expansive areas comparable to multiple football fields. The use of cluster bombs is highly disputed due to their capacity for widespread devastation, including harm to civilians. 
Consequently, the residents of the village have even more reason to be thankful that this particular bomb did not detonate as intended. Now, which of these military finds has piqued your curiosity the most? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so.